Whoa, so what is growing on? Back where we were a few years ago, and we were here for some lobster mushrooms, and we're here for the same thing again, hoping to get some dinner for tonight, kind of add another one to the foraging series, so stay tuned, this is gonna be exciting. Into the thick of it, what are we looking for? Big ticks, small ticks, what kind here, Jim? Hey. Huh. Hopefully not. There's one already, you see it? Holy moly, it's a, it's a big one. It's a lobster. Jeez. See how you can't miss them? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that beast. Okay. Okay, they stick he's out. He's a goodie too. Yeah, we didn't, was it not overcooked? No, he's a goodie. That's a dinner right there, Jim. You can always tell if you cut it and there's no things, but I mean, they tend to be a little dirty, but that one's just primo. Whoa. All right. Here we are in lobster land. Lobster. In case you guys don't know, this is the editor right here. Hey, B-roll master. What up? Hey, hey. Yeah, see that one? That's the wrong color. It's yeah. Too dark. Yeah. Whoa. That could be cool though. But there's some canterelles. This is where I usually find them really thin. So this is all old logging roads in here. And it seems like the damage done by the... Disturbance. Makes it so yeah. that the plants or the fungus is trying to repair it somehow. I noticed that on the edge of paths is where I mostly find my chanterelles, yeah, yeah. you know? Some kind of like an edge species. And it's cool, and the chaga is often on the edge of a logging road because there's wounds. Now you'll find chaga here too? A little. Not much? I mean, chaga is definitely not as common. Is that a different species uh, of hardwoods that you find that in? No, it's only on birch. Oh, 12 o'clock, chanterelle patch. Yep. Strong. Nice. Yeah, oh, right down there, chanterelle patch. Oh, yeah. Right up in there. You get good eyes. Oh, yeah, I can see them all popping. Oh, yeah. In. Oh, theirs might be one of the good beliefs, though. Okay, okay. Stop. I mean, I don't know. When are we going to stop? Let's just go for lots. So we only have one set of hand printers. Jim is the harvester. Hey, Jim, come on now. we got to get those. Look at those things. They're fresh. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Those things are like a meal. Yeah, they're so meaty. Yeah, that's really good. Hardly any buggy in that. Score. Isn't that color just wonderful? Yeah. Whoa, all right, we're going to have to do something. This deal like heavy before we leave here. Nice. All right. You can see how heavy? Wow. Yeah. It's a meal plan. I see what you mean, though. And that's how I usually find them. Pushing leaves with a little on them. Well, that is a big, nice one, but too many chanterelles. Too many chanterelles. Look at them all up there. See, I've never seen this many chants here. Wow. No, huh? Ah. It's, it's a good like... day for them, huh? Yeah, so they could be new pots, because I didn't see this the other day. Whoa, chanterelles. So I'm going to stop one more time for chant. All Ooh, right. Don't enough time. That's a nice chanterelle. Can't pass them up, Jim. Yeah, they're clean over here. They are. They're really fresh. Oh, wow, this rain's really got the fungal life going off this year, Jim. Because, I mean, I think it's like not only just this year, but they've been waiting for five years. And we haven't had rain for five oh, years. Oh, you mean they've been holding out? Yeah. That looks pretty fresh. It's not bad. Pretty good. It's a little bit. But it's heavy, it? you know, you can see because it's not as white, so the, you know, they've been in there. But it's pretty heavy still. Usually it, you feel the lightness when they're gone by. Yeah. There's a chance there by itself. Oh, yeah, see, he's Whoa. good in Look at Tim, that one's like a meal. Yep. That's the pretty side because when they come up out of the dirt, they get a little dirty. I but just that. a little dirty. Ooh. Lobster, oh, lobster! I see, I see! Whoa! See, that's a mush. That's a mushy one? Yeah, see, that's the ones that are worthless. They're so mushy. Oh, the balit? Yeah. yeah. So the hard ones I've been looking for. And I found them up here before. That one's really fresh, too. What does? This one. <laughs> really? Yeah, the deepness of the color. 
Yeah, barely any penetration there with whatever goes in there. When it's white like that, that'll you know last a couple days before it starts to sporulate. I'm probably saying sporulate wrong, but whatever. When it goes to start shooting spores out, <laughs> it'll white and get all soft. Mm -hmm. Here's the bee. Lobster. Little lobster. That's little like lobster. a lobster. Hold on one second. Let's get the little lobster. Oh, we got another. Little lobster. Whoa. Pretty and fresh. Oh, pretty good. Whoa. Pretty clean, too. But see how it's starting to get a little white there? That one's cleaner than most of the other ones. Yeah, I just because I, maybe it was in this piney area. Nice. I couldn't believe like the sunlight was shining right on that little orange spot and I thought, is that yeah. a leaf? Because there is starting to be some red leaves. Not nah, really right. Oh well. Overcooked? Yeah, oh, more here. More, more. This might be the spot. Oh, they're all over here, Jim. I see a bunch right here. Yeah, this might be where we found like 12 last year. That one's overdone. There's a little lobster claw, he's good. Little what? Nice little one. guy? Little guy. Lobster, lobster. Little claw, but he's fresh. It's a freshie? Oh yeah, look at how nice that is. Ooh. You can oh, make it? Breeze. Oh, you <laughs> missed Jim! Hey, I hey, used to play basketball. Ooh, that is a pretty looking Amanita. Ooh. That's the one they call the Death Angel, right? Yeah. What do we got here? So I, I don't know, I think this might be a birch bowl lead or whatever. We ate these the other day and they're awesome, but they're very hard. Don't stain purple, uh, blue at all. Um, and then there's a little lobster. So we got a lobster and a bowl eat in the yep. same stop? Yeah. Lobster, bowl eat, and Look at there's a really little one we should come back for next week. Oh. And there's a lactaris, I think. That one's cool. We got another good one? Pretty good, yeah. He's clean. And lobster claw. Yeah, look at that. Nice and clean. Or, Jim, right. we're doing pretty good today. Yeah. We're gonna feed the whole block, huh? Yeah, I wish we knew a restaurant. We made a couple hundred bucks here. What do these go for a pound? I've seen anywhere from, you know, 16 to 30. 16 to 30. So just as much as Chantrell's? Yeah. No, no, a little bit. A little overcooked? He's good, as long as it clears. Yeah. Lobster claws. Really fresh. I think we're going back this way, right? We'll go down there and then kind of work back this way. You're doing a good job. Look at that. Just feel the difference in weight. Oh, it's got no density to yeah, it. Yeah, and to that. Whoa. You know, so it's right. just, you know. So, I mean, you could probably eat that right now and it'd be all right, but in, in a day, it'll be like feather like. Now, is that one good, the other one? It is, it, it looked too small to be good, but that's really good. That's a really good one? Mm-hmm. Nice. Just barely. Look over here. Little babies. Little babies. Lobster land. This feels kind of dense. Pretty good stuff, really? Nope. No. Like no. Deal. No. Just not. Not feeling it. Yep. Okay. Overcooked. So we know they're down this low now. Jim, we can't get out of here. We just keep loading up, huh? Uh, oh. They're light. Oh, some more. Let's see. Oh, I'm pretty good. Everybody comes to Maine to eat the lobster of the sea, but I'm here for the lobster of the woods. That's good day. Ooh. Well, that's some nice ones there. Yeah, this one might be also overcooked. Mm. That actually looks kind of fresh. It does have a little bit of that white to it. That can be deceiving. That feels pretty good. The good one? Oh! Good eye, Robbie, good eye. Oh, there's my truck. Is it? Is yeah. Right. Good enough. Yeah. Really. Wow. I'll throw it in. Yeah. Yeah, it's still got weight to it. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. 
Successful uh, trip for forage in here, Jim. Yeah, I this we did pretty good. I love that color. What do you put on these when you eat them? Just a little salt and pepper and butter? Butter, yep. She'll Is that all they need? It's like literally like eating lobster? But often we'll, she'll make that and then we'll make pasta and then put that on top of the pasta. All right, so another successful trip, lobster hunting here in the woods for mushrooms with Jim. These things are so heavy and hardy, they're unbelievable. I bet you there's probably more than 20 pounds of mushrooms there in that collection on the back of the truck. We're going back to eat, it's been a long day. Stay tuned if you guys enjoyed this video or some of the other videos in our foraging series or growing series, definitely hit that like button. Be sure to hit that bell so you stay notified when I upload a new video. Most importantly, get out there and forage mushrooms, pound dirt.